Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kothar coming to you from Scott Oman. Today we are going to talk about bullying. This is an important topic that affects many children on a daily basis. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bullying can be devastating for children's confidence and self-esteem. If your child is being bullied, they need guidance, love, and support, both at home and at school. Your child also needs to know that you'll work with the school to prevent any further bullying. Children have a right to learn and develop in safe and healthy school environments. Protecting children from bullying and working to prevent it in schools is part of creating a safe environment that helps children grow and thrive. If your child is being bullied, listening and talking with your child is essential. This helps you find out what is happening so that you can take action with the school. Calm and caring conversations with you will also help your child feel loved and supported. Here are some suggestions on how to start the conversation with your child. Firstly, listen. Give your child your full attention and consider talking in a quiet space. Ask your child simple questions and listen for his answers. Try saying things like, so what happened next? Uh, what did you do then? Stay calm. This is a chance to show your child how to solve problems. If you feel angry or anxious, wait until you feel calm before you talk to your child or others. Summarize the problem. You could say, so you were sitting on your own, eating your lunch, then Yasser came along, took your lunchbox, and threw it across the playground. Let your child know it's natural and okay to feel upset. You may say, no wonder you're feeling so sad and upset about this. Make sure your child knows it's not their fault. Well, you could say something such as, it didn't happen because you wear glasses. Yasser might have been upset about something that happened at home, but this is no excuse for this kind of behavior. Agree that there's a problem. Explain to your child that it is not okay for someone to treat them badly. Praise your child. Telling you about bullying might not have been easy for your child. Praise will encourage your child to keep sharing problems with you. Make it clear to your child that you're there to help. For example, you may say something like, it sounds like things haven't been so good. Let's think about some things we can do to make it better. Avoid negative comments. Remember, it won't help to say things like, you need to stand up for yourself, or you poor little thing. This will not help your child. If your child understands why some people bully, it might help your child realize that the situation isn't their fault. You can tell your child that the person who is bullying might be copying other people and might not know that bullying is wrong, may not know how to be nice to other people, may have a problem and think that making other people feel bad will make things better for them. If your child is being bullied, get the help of your child's teacher and school as quickly as you can. Most schools take bullying extremely seriously and have policies related to bullying. Your school will assess the situation with you. Most schools will always focus first on protecting the child who is being bullied. Your first step is talking with your child's classroom teacher. Your child's teacher will be trained in spotting and handling bullying and can work with you to prevent further bullying. Also, your child needs to know that you are working on the problem, so make sure that you tell your child that you'll talk to the teacher about it. Here are some tips on how to work with your child's classroom teacher to stop the bullying. Firstly, make a time to speak privately with the teacher. Calmly present your concerns as a joint issue for both of you to deal with. You might say something like, Michael says Mahmoud is hitting him at lunchtime, calling him names, and telling the other kids not to play with him. I'd like your help to find out what's happening and what we can do about it. Discuss the problem with the teacher. Ask for the teacher's views. You can also ask for a copy of the school's anti-bullying policies and procedures. Be assertive, not angry or accusatory. 
You can say things such as, yes, children do tease each other sometimes, but I don't agree that this was just teasing. I think it's more serious. End the meeting with a plan on how the situation will be managed. For instance, you can say, so you're going to talk to the other teachers about this so that they can watch the children carefully on the playground at lunchtime, and we're going to talk about this again next week. Keep in touch with the teacher. Your child might not want you to talk to the teacher. Your child might be embarrassed or worried that it will make the bullying worse. It is important to listen to your child's concerns and see whether there's anything you can do to help them feel less worried, such as you might try to make an appointment at the school at a time when other students are less likely to notice. In the end, you're the best person to decide what's in your child's best interest, even if that means involving the teacher against your child's wishes. Directly contacting the child doing the bullying or the child's parents is likely to make the situation worse. It's always safer and more productive to work with the school than try to solve the bullying on your own. If the bullying doesn't stop even after you've spoken to the classroom teacher, it's still safest to work through the school. Here are some further steps you can take. Keep a record of what happens and when. If the bullying involves physical harm or damages to your child's property, you can also take photos. If it involves cyberbullying, take screenshots of the social media posts or the text messages. Write a note to the classroom teacher saying that the bullying is still going on. Ask your concerns to be addressed in writing. Speak to the school principal. Request a meeting to discuss the matter with the school board if your school has one. Seek further advice from your school's regional ministry or Department of Education office. It takes time to change a child's behavior, so you might not see overnight results. If the bullying behavior is extreme, there might also be reasons to look for help outside your school or your school system. If the bullying is violent, if criminal offenses have occurred, or you think that the school have treated you unfairly or unreasonably, here are some options you may want to consider. Firstly, seek legal advice. You can tell the police, or you can apply to the court for a restraining order against the person doing the bullying. It's best for your child's well-being and development to be in an environment where they feel safe respected and valued. If you decide that moving schools is the best way to support your child's development and well-being, it's good to get support with this process. You can ask your GP for a referral to an educational psychologist who can recommend this step. If your child's being bullied, you should always step in, but your child can also learn ways to handle bullying when it's happening. This gives your child skills to deal with any future bullying or negative social behavior. It also helps your child feel more confident and less powerless about being bullied. Here are some ideas for your child along with ways to explain them to your child. Ignore it and think about moving away if the bullying continues. Explain to your child that they should physically move away from the children who are doing the teasing and bullying. Tell the person doing the bullying to stop. Get your child to understand that standing up to people who are bullying in a calm way lets them know that what they are trying to do isn't working. Avoid high-risk places. Your child should understand that if they keep away from places where bullying happens, they can avoid people doing the bullying, as long as this does not stop them from doing the things they like to do. Stay around other people. Explain to your child if they stay with friends, the person doing the bullying probably won't bother them, or they can stay in a busier part of the school where there are teachers. Ask other children for help. Other children probably understand what your child is going through and can probably help them if needed. Bullies are less likely to bully if they can see that children have backup friends. Advise them to tell the teacher. Explain to them that the teacher can help them deal with the problem. 
the person doing the bullying might not even know that the teacher is helping. Bullying can be hard to handle and the teachers are there to help. You can also talk to your child about the best strategy for the situation. For instance, if someone is calling your child names, your child just might ask the person to stop. But if the person doing the bullying is being physically violent, it might be best to tell a teacher. Your child needs a lot of support and love at home while you and the classroom teacher work on stopping the bullying at school. You could aim to have a time each day when you chat with your child about the good and bad parts of the day. Rather than always asking about the bullying, you can ask more general questions like, what was the most fun part of your day? Sometimes professional support might help your child deal with bullying. You can talk to your GP or the school counselor to get more information.